welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm going to be talking today about how to include more liver in your diet. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to include more liver in my diet? And you might not be a big fan, which I was never a very big fan either, but I'll tell you why um, I include more liver in my diet. And that's because first of all, I heard it from the Weston A. Price Foundation. Weston Price was a dentist who traveled the world looking at indigenous cultures and what they ate. And he found that most indigenous cultures consumed some form of high nutrient dense foods and liver was definitely one of those foods. And he used a lot of cod liver oil in his healing of people's teeth when he went back home and tried to heal people. So the Weston Price Foundation really touts liver as a very nutritious food to add to your diet. On top of that, cod liver um, contains 25% of your vitamin A, and that's just in three little soft gels, and 32% of your vitamin D. Whereas beef liver contains 20% of your folate, this is in one ounce, 45% of your riboflavin, 15% of your B6, 18% of your niacin, 20% pantothenic acid, 277% of your B12, and 95% of your vitamin A. So it's a very nutrient dense food and it has nutrients that you're not going to get if you're just eating muscle meats or avoiding muscle meats. So that's an important thing. So ways that I like to incorporate liver into my diet. Um, I was taking cod liver oil. Now I chose this Rosita brand because they do really make sure that the cod liver oil is not rancid, it's fresh, it's packed right away. And I, it says wild and raw, no heater chemicals, they also add an antioxidant to it to make sure it doesn't oxidize. And I like the soft gels because they, you know, encapsulate it. It's not going to go bad very fast. I do not use cod liver oil anymore because um, I found it made my periods worse because it does thin your blood. So if that's something you're concerned about or if you're about to have surgery or anything like that, I would just be a little weary of this or just take it a little less frequently, maybe more so in winter season. And I'll tell you a little bit later how I like to get my vitamin D. But um, this is one way I do love getting my liver. This is actually a, a bunch of organs. Um, this one contains liver, heart, kidney, pancreas, and spleen, but you can get these just in liver if that's what you'd prefer. Um, other organ meats do have different benefits, so that's why um, I got this one. You can order these online at Ancestral Supplements. They are grass-fed. So the way I like to get my vitamin D in the winter by far is actually just eating cod liver. It comes in a can. And I also bought this pate, cod liver pate. I, when I discovered this, I was like, hallelujah, because I'm not a big fan of beef liver. Um, personally, I just don't like the taste. I don't like the smell. There's nothing about it I really like. I haven't found a way to cook it even in like a pate that I really enjoy. Plus I, I don't really do bread, so it's hard to spread that onto a pate. So with this, I actually, um, you can mix it in with tuna and make a tuna salad sandwich. You can put it into, I've made like a Russian kind of potato salad with it. I've made a sushi roll with it mixed with um, different things. So that's how I eat that and I really love it. And this will contain, this has 180% of your vitamin A in half a tin and it doesn't say D on here. Another thing that's great about cod liver is it's high in um, omega-3s if you're trying to balance your omega-3 um, fatty acids. It's best to go wild cod liver um, because the farmed cod liver, they're actually fed um, 
a certain feed that makes it very high in omega-6s and I don't know if you've seen my other videos but I try to avoid too much omega-6. So one last way that I've really enjoyed eating beef liver is um, either in a minced meat, this is a local farmer that does that, or in a sausage. And I find when I eat it like this, I don't really even taste it. You can make it into something like a spaghetti or something, and you're not really gonna taste it that way. So, um, and my kids actually really love both, and especially the sausages. You might be able to find liverwurst or sausages in your local grocery stores, um, or you can ask a local farmer too if they make sausages that way, or to save you the liver and you can make your own if you're <laughs> that um, keen. I personally am not, so I try to buy it. But those are just some ways to incorporate more liver and organ meats into your diet. Um, oh, I should mention this pate also has roe, uh, cod roe in it, which makes it a super nutrient dense um, food. It actually has 380% of your vitamin A in there. So um, if you do feel you're lacking in vitamin A, that would definitely be something to try and it is delicious. I absolutely love the pate. So yeah, um, that's how I incorporate liver into my diet. How do you incorporate liver into your diet? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video.